Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Once again, I'm in my favorite master plan community, Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. And the reason I'm out here is because I have an out of state client looking for a resort styled vacation home. And I'm doing this video for them because, man, that backyard, you'll see it in a second, is definitely set up for a vacation style living. And we're also just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the uh, amenity center. And I'm going to put a video to that up here somewhere. Anyways, this house was built in 2019, just over 3,200 square feet, four bedroom, three full bath, and the current asking price as of late July 2024 is 1.25. Anyways, uh, let's head on out front and begin the tour. All right, love the beautiful stone on the front end of this house. We are kind of in a cul-de-sac, so you're not gonna have a lot of traffic in front of your house at all. Actually, we're at the very end of it. And like I mentioned before, you can, uh, almost see where the uh, main amenity center where the lazy river and all that stuff is right up there <clears throat> tax rate you're looking at about 1.8 for these acre lot sections in vintage oaks and you're about a uh, nine to ten minute drive to the grocery store which is HEB you know a whole bunch of urban spa restaurants uh, if you're into horseback riding my daughter's actually taking horseback riding lessons at hollow tree uh which is literally across the street from this community. There's just so much things I like about this location, things to do in the area, because I absolutely love New Braunfels. And uh, if y'all been watching me for a while, you know how much I love this community. Anyways, uh, let's head on inside. And if you haven't done so already, hit that like button. I definitely do appreciate it. To give you a closer look at what this stone looks like they've spent a lot of money on the landscaping the resort pool area with a little putting green outside but right now we're looking at the front area um the sun sets this is west kind of off this direction so it's kind of nice where the sun is going to be going across the house and like i said happy hour on the back porch won't get messed up with the sun anyways love these beautiful doors big big uh, metal doors right when you come in you see the beautiful wooden floor some tall ceilings and you got your formal dining room right off to the side um, there's another space for dining room stuff so if you wanted to turn this into something else like a, maybe a really cool bar this is really set up for that because yeah, you can put the bar in that little nook there and yeah so many options you can do with this uh, mentioned before, this is over 3,200 square feet, so lots and lots of living space. Check out how they have their bed, their stuff set up already in this house. Plenty of room. Definitely do like how they have this island kind of curving around, very beautiful. And some higher end granite. This is a gorgeous granite. I like the little island set up. We have the farmhouse copper sink. Very nice. A little view from the sink here. Still see the TV from the kitchen sink. We do have two uh, ovens stacked there. Notice there's no microwave in here. We're going to show you where they hit the microwave in just a second. But I do want to show off this is in the, uh, they do have a buried propane tank. So you do have gas cooking, the, the backsplash, and the vent hood. But yeah, let's go back here and let me show you where they have the microwave tucked away at. In this big, beautiful pantry. And I've seen this before, but you don't see it too often where they have the microwave in the pantry. Um, the last clients I had that did this was building a gorgeous cost at a main house. And they did that because they wanted to make it hard to do microwave food because they're trying to eat healthier. And uh, so that's... If you read the Atomic Habits book, that's what they do, trying to break some habits, make those habits a little bit harder. This does have a three car garage. This is currently occupied with someone, but they will have a lot of stuff moved out beforehand. And uh, it also has a whole in-house um, vacuum cleaner in there and um, water softener already installed. And if you know anything about this area, you definitely want to have a water softener because yeah, water's got a lot of minerals and stuff in it. Good to have a water softener. Seeing here is the laundry room. Plenty of space. And let's head on back through the kitchen area. And, oops, sorry, just th almost forgot. Um, yeah, they do have some dog kennels and stuff here. That's going to get moved out. 
But as you can tell, you can do whatever you want with that front space because you got plenty of space right here for a little dining room setup. So, or whatever you want to do. I definitely got to point out these blind, these shutter blinds. These are not cheap. They are a very big upgrade to have installed. So it's good to see those in there because if you want to block out all the light in the house, you definitely can. All right, let's go up to this uh, guest bedroom located in the front of the house. So this room's gonna have its own full private bath. So if you got those long-term guests, they can do everything they want in here. But nice size bedroom with a closet. I'm gonna try not to show too much of their private stuff, but just kind of show you got a sliding door. And then you got more bedrooms tucked back this way. And point out that they carry that same stone by the front of the house in here with a beautiful fireplace and some built-ins. Okay, that's the master bedroom. We're gonna show that one last. Let's head back this direction and showcase the uh, secondary bedrooms and another view of this beautiful kitchen. All right, coming down this hallway, We've got a big, uh, uh, a full size bathroom. No half baths in here. Everything's a full bath, shower tub combo there. Cause that's gonna give you access to these bedrooms back here in this wing of the house. Check out the size of these closets. Really good size closets. Nice they have a window in here just for more additional lighting. And then this bedroom right here as well. Once again, a good size uh, secondary bedroom. And they've got that same uh, little sliding closet set up with shoe racks and everything else. Like I said, trying to respect their privacy since someone has their stuff in here. All right, but what's the big deal about why this house is so nice is you can tell these owners have put a lot of money into their backyard and it definitely shows all right coming out you have an exceptionally large covered patio space beautifully done another fireplace on the outside they got the tv set up they do have their uh furniture out here kind of covered because i believe the sellers are using this as their vacation house just like my client might be wanting to do. But it's got an outdoor kitchen already built in. Very nicely done, but wow, check out this pool. Um, I've been doing this for a while. It's the first grotto that I've seen built into a pool, so definitely nicely done. A few steps down. But yeah, just a gorgeously done pool. They've got little fire pits, things set up around. In the pictures I saw online, they had them all lit up. So I'm assuming they've got some type of propane thing to light all these up with a switch. I see some waterfall things coming in here as well. But love how they got the different tiers into this pool, deep spot and then a grotto spot. So we just really have a nice relaxing entertainment space and kind of a diving board set up where you can go up on top above the grotto and jump into the deep end down there and of course you see you got the hot tub set up as well but wait there's more you do have a really nice view kind of looking over the hill country you do see kind of your neighbors back behind you a little bit but let's go around the pool and i can show you what else makes this um, outdoor space so special we've got a little putting green set up over here Super cool. Another view of the pool with a grotto. But yeah, a little putting green set up. And this is all part of property too. Um, we saw they had dogs, but you got a gate where if you are hosting, you want to keep the dogs separate. They can go out there and this property runs quite a bit that direction. It's, it is a 1.14 acre lot. But yeah, it's kind of cool to have a little putting green if you need to go puttering around. A lot of outdoor lighting set up. And one last feature I saw in the MLS that I wanted to check out. I believe it's a shower set up back here.
Well, nope, not a sh there's no shower head. I'm wondering if they've got something set up because it's got a drain. Just a little, it's got a drain back here. It looks like they might have been starting to put a little shower up head up there, but it's not completed yet. But the hard part's done. It's like I see some pipes and stuff. Maybe they were planning on doing that. Well, I just it. But I do like the idea. So if you need to rinse off after getting out of the pool, get some of that chlorine off of you. It doesn't look like it'd be that much to get that done. We do get a view of what the outside of the back porch patio looks like. And yeah, let's head on into the master bedroom. I remember this house was built in 2019, so there are some stuff that can be touched up around the house. So we got some paint touch-ups that need to be done. All right, now we can check out the master bedroom, which has a lot of space in it. I do like the, how they have the little eyelid shaped uh, bump out there with tons and tons of windows. Cause if you're gonna have a gorgeous pool, you kinda wanna be able to see it when you're looking out your, your bedroom, you definitely can here. There's an aerobic septic system right there. You have a door access to uh, your back porch living space. Love the uh, barn door going into the master bath and a beautifully done setup with a soaking tub, a very deep soaking tub, dual vanities. And uh, I actually have one of these built in there. Shout out to my carpenter friend, Mr. Dan Br Don Bradshaw. He built me something similar to this in my house and definitely does get a lot of use. Really wide water closet space, so you're not feeling crowded at all. And a Yep, motion detection lights. Looks like one light didn't come on. But you're gonna have a his and her side of the closet and lots of space in here. Try not to spend too much time. Shoe racks, boot racks. And let's check out this shower. All right, lots and lots of space in this big, beautiful shower. We have uh, two different shower heads set up. And a big shelf down there. So I do like the fact they have natural lighting in here as well. So yeah, gorgeous home. Definitely love the outdoor entertainment space and the possibilities you can do with this house. That's on the market as of late July, 2024. And before I wrap this video, I wanna give a special thanks to the Renfeld Group. They are the listing agents for this gorgeous house. And I appreciate them giving the opportunity to showcase their listing. I can represent any buyer interested in this beautiful home. All right, I hope you enjoy the tour of this beautiful home. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this video unlisted until my client either has a chance to see it or walk it next week when he comes to town. And then uh, if he decides to pass on it, then I'll go ahead and make it public. So you might not be watching this video until basically mid-July, mid August 2024. Anyways, if you've got any questions about the house, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final slide and in the description box. I specialize in helping people relocate to the Texas Hill Country area. So if you know someone considering doing that, please share this video with them. I'll be happy to help. All right, hit that like, subscribe button and all that other good stuff. Take care now. <laughs> Bye.